Now, business owners are now counting huge losses after hundreds of businesses were destroyed in Tuesday's countrywide protests. A spot check by KBC Channel 1 established that majority of businesses that were vandalized are dealers in electronic accessories, clothing and apparels, as well as supermarkets. Regina Manyara has the details. Few minutes past 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. And from a quick glance, it looks like any other normal day in the country's capital. However, on a closer look, masks, coughs, sneezes, and a wariness among the populace. The streets of Nairobi looking like a scene from an apocalyptic movie. Papers strewn all over the streets, barricaded avenues and shattered glass, as well as burning embers. We are totally disappointed. Like to the as we took a pata, I couldn't manage to say, Gia Kilakitu in a Fujua. To Giesa Buda Menjetu, this is millions and millions of money. Traders at the popular RNG Plaza in downtown Nairobi counting mounting losses. All of us to Nashindwa to Tanza Wapi. As you can see, Sikujitatea, but most of us we are still young. Hindo Kitu to Nategemea. Some of us we are still schooling. He, this is our everything. Our families are looking unto us. Few meters away, famous Sianda stores ransacked and destroyed. So the goons were kakuja. They were breaking into shops. Not only these these uh, Sianda stalls, but other stalls zingine. So these Sianda stalls walichoma. The reason walichoma ni kwa sababu walikatazwa kuingia ndani kutuibia. Already waliko wameingia into my shop. Wakachukua vitu. So already my shop had already gone at a loss. Di walikuwa mesha chukua vitu. So hizi zingine wakakatazwa kuingia kwa hizi zingine za my neighbors za ukundani. Tears and confusion evident among traders whose stalls were raised to the ground with nothing to salvage and now facing an uncertain future. The decades-old Sunbing shopping mall was not spired either, with fires still raging. <laughs> Unless we get we get a new premises for the same something, yes. The, the, the building cause of traders operating in the building now condemned remain unaccounted for. Sasa kukaka tukaona moshi mekuwa kubwa sana, nikatoka juu nilikuwa fourth floor, nikaanza kuteremuka chini. Kuteremuka chini, hata tukua tunaona exit, but ni vile saa tumezoya hiyo nyumba. So, ilikuwa hizi ya kwetu kutoka. Wengine walikuwa mauko juu, so hata sijika. Kuru and Kiambu County, similar scenes were reported as businesses reeled from the impact of the anti-finance bill 2024 demos. The yeah, the taxman has been reaching deeper and deeper into our pockets and at some point the government has to look at itself and say that do they reduce the expenses on their end or do they tax more because the businesses cannot pay more taxes. You can see the type of cost. Was it worth? Couldn't the government listen to its own people? The Kenyans are saying, we withdraw the bill. Let us discuss this matter. This is the aftermath of the anti-finance bill 2024 on Ronald Ngala Street. I have one thing to say, that the government has to intervene after suffering millions and millions of losses. And they are also worried about if they are going to anytime soon. I'm Regina Manyara reporting for KBC Channel 1.